Unveiling Blackbeard, separating myth from reality in the life of the infamous buccaneer. Blackbeard, the notorious pirate, has captivated imaginations for centuries, yet his true story often blurs with legend. Historically, Edward Teach or Thatch was less the demonic figure of lore and more a shrewd navigator who exploited maritime fears for strategic gain. Before becoming Blackbeard, Edward Teach possibly started as a privateer during Queen Anne's War before turning to piracy. His transition from privateering to piracy was likely influenced by the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713, which left many sailors unemployed and restless. During the Golden Age of Piracy, from 1716 to 1726, Blackbeard emerged as one of the most feared pirates. His cunning, coupled with the sheer force, enabled him to capture numerous ships and amass considerable wealth, which bolstered his fearsome reputation. Blackbeard's flagship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, was a symbol of his power. Originally a French slave ship, Teach captured and modified it to carry 40 guns, making it one of the most formidable pirate ships ever to sail the land. Blackbeard's appearance was striking, with accounts suggesting he tied lit pieces under his hat and intimidated him. However, much of his fearsome image is likely embellished over time, intertwining fact and fiction to create the legendary pirate figure known as Dead. Blackbeard's notoriety was solidified by his numerous high seas pirates, which often targeted merchant ships laden with thousands of art. His ability to elude capture while acquiring vast treasure made him a feared figure among mariners and a legend among pirates. Under his command, the Queen Anne's revenge became a symbol of terror. Blackbeard skillfully used his flagship to blockade ports and intimidate the colonies, leveraging his position to negotiate pardons or ransoms, further cementing his influence in the pirate world. Blackbeard's governance was unique, adhering to a strict pirate code which established order and shared profit among his crew. This code helped maintain loyalty and discipline, making his band of pirates unusually effective and organized. His alliances and rivalries shaped much of his pirate career. Figures like Steed Bonnet were allies who contributed to his campaign, whereas Governor Alexander Spotswood of Virginia was a key adversary, obsessed with capturing the notorious pirate. Blackbeard's frequent retreats to hideouts like Nassau and secluded inlets in North Carolina allowed him to evade the British Navy. These strategic bases were essential for repairing ships, planning raids, and distributing plunder crucial for his sustained piratical activities. Blackbeard's tactical prowess was most evident during the naval battles, where he used his knowledge of sea routes and weather to outwit the royal lady. His aggressive strategies and fear of losing persona often led enemies to surrender without a fight. The final confrontation for Blackbeard occurred at Oxford England, where Lieutenant Robert Maynard of the Royal Navy cornered him. Despite being outnumbered, Blackbeard fiercely fought back, demonstrating his relentless fighting spirit and strategic mind until the very end. Blackbeard's death marked a significant turn from piracy on the high seas. Killed during the Battle of Oxford Inlet, his demise symbolized the beginning of the end of the old age of piracy, as subsequent pirate activity began to wane. Following Blackbeard's death, the impact on piracy was immediate and profound. His once feared image diminished leading to a decline in pirate morale and a strengthening of naval enforcement. This shift helped restore maritime trade routes and reduce piracy incidents significantly. The legend of Blackbeard continued to grow after his death, fueled by sensational stories and dramatic retellings of his exploits. This myth-making process transformed him from a notorious pirate to a romanticized anti-hero in folklore and literature, embedding his legacy in popular culture. Blackbeard's fearsome image has transcended history, permeating popular culture through books, films, and folklore. His character has been romanticized and villainized, serving as the archetype of the pirate in countless stories, demonstrating his enduring appeal and the fascination surrounding his life and deeds. Debunking the myths surrounding Blackbeard is crucial for historical accuracy. Many tales of his brutality and exploits at sea have been exaggerated or fabricated. Scholars and historians work to separate these legends from the verifiable facts, presenting a clearer picture of the pirate's true love. The discovery of the Queen Anne's Revenge off the coast of North Carolina sparked a renewed interest in Blackbeard's maritime activities. 
modern explorations and recoveries provide invaluable insights into the 18th century pirates, showcasing artifacts that offer glimpses of Blackbeard's story. Blackbeard's legacy is not just about treasure and terror, it has significantly impacted maritime law and pirate gain. His actions prompted tighter security and regulatory measures at sea, shaping how naval battles were fought and how piracy was countered during and after his time. Educational and cultural institutions play a vital role in keeping Blackbeard's story alive. Museums, historical sites, and academic programs continue to explore and teach the complexities of life, ensuring that the legend of Blackbeard continues to captivate and educate future generations. Blackbeard's story continues to captivate and educate thanks to cultural and educational institutions that dedicate resources to preserving pirate history. Museums, historical societies, and academic programs delve into the depths of maritime history, bringing Blackbeard's era to life for new generations. Reassessing Blackbeard's historical role offers a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of colonial maritime law and pirate culture. As modern interpretations evolve, Blackbeard's legend remains not only a subject of entertainment, but also a significant, instructive part of cultural heritage and historical study.